Welcome dear learners to third part of the video on job analysis. My name is Chainika Senapati and I am from Maniram Devan School of Management and today I am going to discuss about the various aspects related to job evaluation in this process and also we get some idea on the concept of job enrichment. So after going through this video lesson you will be able to learn about the job evaluation in this process and also discuss about job enrichment. What is job evaluation? Job evaluation is the process of analyzing and assessing the various jobs systematically to ascertain their relative worth in an organization. Jobs are evaluated on the basis of their content and are placed in the order of their importance. In this way, a job hierarchy is established in an organization and the purpose being the fixation of satisfactory wage differentials among various jobs. Job holders are, you know, rated through uh, performance appraisal. Now let us discuss about job evaluation process. Job evaluation process actually starts with defining objectives of evaluations and ends with establishing wage and salary differentials. The main objective of job analysis, as I have already stated, uh, is to establish satisfactory wage and salary differentials. Job analysis, you know, should precede the actual program of evaluation. Job analysis, as uh, we have discussed in the first part of the video, provides job-related data, which would be, you know, useful in drafting the job description and also the job specification. A job evaluation program involves answering several, que several questions like, uh, which jobs are to be evaluated, who should evaluate the job, what training do the evaluators need, how much time uh, is involved and what should be the criteria for evaluation, uh, then what methods of evaluation are to be employed. So these are the some of the questions uh, that you know to be answered in the process of job evaluation program. When we talk about job uh, enrichment, it consists of designing the job in such a way that the worker gets greater autonomy for planning and controlling his or her own performance. The greater motivation for the employee according to this method is an opportunity for achievement, you know, recognition, responsibility and growth. Job enrichment uh, is a method technique which emphasizes the need for you know, challenging the interesting work. It suggests that jobs be redesigned so that the intrinsic satisfaction is derived from doing the job. In its best application, it leads to vertically enhanced job by adding functions from other organizational level, making it you know, contain more uh, variety and you know, challenging and offer autonomy and pride to the employee. In job enrichment, uh, the job holder is given a measure of you know, uh, discretion in making operational decisions uh, you know, concerning uh, his or her job and in this sense, he or she gains a feeling of higher status and influence and power. There are certain advantages and also some disadvantages of job enrichment. Let us first discuss uh, about the advantages of job enrichment. The first would be uh, job enrichment is the most widely used method of job design uh, because it provides a meaningful work experience and learning to the employees. It makes the work more interesting. It helps in reducing the rate of you know, labor turnover and absenteeism. It increases skills of the employees and the workers get a higher job uh, satisfaction as uh, you know, redesigned job provide intrinsic motivation to the employees. And lastly, um, organization gets improvement in the output both qualitative and quantitative. So these are some of the advantages of job enrichment. Now let us discuss some of the uh, disadvantages of job enrichment. The enriched jobs may fail to motivate employees who are alienated and uh, who prefer you know job security, you know shorter work than bonus, uh, good pay to autonomy and responsibility. For such employees, job enrichment may lead to feelings of sometimes inadequacy, sometimes may feel failure or dependence. You know, they may consider it an additional burden without uh, appropriate uh, compensation. Second disadvantage would be, you know, job enrichment may make a work more difficult 
and therefore proper training should be provided to the employee to handle the enriched job. Uh, in certain cases, a uh, job enrichment proves to be very costly process as the expenditure involved is very high uh, than the gain in the productivity. It may sometimes not be possible to enrich all the jobs, especially the technical jobs with you know special specialized uh, machinery. Also, job enrichment you know does not necessarily mean job satisfaction. Uh, jobs of highly skilled professionals are very challenging in nature and but it does not mean that they are always satisfied with their job. So these are a few disadvantages, but they are more advantages of job enrichment. So the uh, organizations follow job enrichment uh, method. So dear learners, uh, we have come to the end of the third part of the video lesson on job analysis. Here we have discussed about the job evaluation and its processes. Also we got some idea on the concept of job enrichment. We discuss about the disadvantages and also we discuss about the advantages of job enrichment. We will come again with other concepts on management and also human resource management. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay safe.